Hello everyone, I'm Adam Robinson, CEO and co-founder of Hireology, and I'm here to give you a quick rundown of what the May 2021 Bureau of Labor Statistics jobs report means for you. Overall in May, we saw a gain of 559,000 jobs. This is more than twice as many as we saw in April, as COVID restrictions continue to ease with over 40% of the U.S. population fully vaccinated. Schools and businesses across all industries are reopening, causing hiring to spike. Now, I know I'm not alone in feeling a little relieved seeing these numbers, but a month ago, I think we were all starting to feel a little anxious and concerned that we were reaching a plateau in the recovery. So it is good to see that April was somewhat of an anomaly and that we're back to the same growth pattern we've experienced so far in 2021. So what type of jobs were at it? We saw the largest gains in the leisure and hospitality sector with 292,000 jobs added. This one comes as no surprise. As people get vaccinated and COVID rates plummet, people are going out and traveling more. And as a result, hotels, bars, and restaurants are hiring fast to keep pace with increasing business and consumer demand. The next highest was public and private education with a gain of 144,000 jobs. Again, this makes perfect sense as schools reopen and schools look to bring on folks like janitorial or secretarial staff to support the return to in-person learning. Additionally, I want to mention some sectors that are really important to us here at Hierology. The senior care and social assistance sector added 46,000 jobs. Transportation and warehousing added 23,000 jobs. And professional and business services saw an increase of 35,000 jobs. This is a solid amount of job growth after a month of relative stagnation. So overall, these numbers add up to an unemployment rate of 5.8%, which is down 0.3% from April and is continuing on the same slow but steady downward trajectory we have been on since last May. Now, Hierology customers had a good month too. Overall, our customers opened more than 23,000 jobs, received nearly 305,000 applicants and converted just over 10,000 of these applicants to hires. And our time to hire at across our customer base keeps dropping too. In May, our customers average about 23 days from the time an applicant submits their application to the moment they receive an offer. Now this last one is really big. Top talent today goes fast, especially as the number of open jobs continue to outweigh the number of applicants. So it's really great to see that we've been able to continue to help customers get that time to hire number down month over month. In addition to job gains, we are seeing promising economic patterns, including new businesses opening at the fastest pace on record. The number of Americans seeking unemployment aid has fallen for the fifth consecutive week. And analysts project by the end of 2021, gross domestic product will exceed pre-pandemic predictions. Now, all of this is great news and points to a slow but steady recovery. And while the economy seems to be on the rebound, I know that many of you are having trouble keeping up with that due to the talent shortage. And so businesses across all industries are really struggling to fill their open roles for myriad reasons. Of course, one of which being the declining unemployment rate, uh, but others include ongoing COVID concerns, caregiver responsibilities, and heightened unemployment benefits that make lower paying jobs less appealing. Another factor contributing to the struggle to fill open roles is that the number of individuals actively working is steadily declining. 53,000 individuals left the labor force last month, uh, a common trend throughout the pandemic due partially to baby boomers opting for early retirement and parents, especially women, leaving the workforce to care for their children in the absence of childcare. In fact, from February 2020 to February 2021, 1.8 million men and 2.4 million women left the labor force. This trend is an incredibly frustrating one for many of you, as you seek to fill these open roles, unfortunately, there is not one single reason for the talent shortage. It really is a combination of many overlapping and complex factors at play. So to summarize, April was somewhat of an anomaly with its lower jobs report. May numbers show that the economy is continuing to bounce back and employers are adding jobs at the same rate they had been adding them earlier this year. Overall, unemployment has reached an all-time low since prior to February of 2020. But the events of 2020 were unlike anything we've ever seen before and hopefully will ever see after, and the recovery is going to be a long and winding road. It won't happen overnight. And we're still facing many challenges, namely a severe supply and demand imbalance between the number of open roles we're all trying to fill 
and the number of job seekers out there looking for work. So what can you do to build your best team and keep up with the economic boom, even as the talent shortage persists? The answer involves many different layers. One of the most impactful things you can do is to address the needs and concerns of today's job seekers. Incentivize them to apply by offering them what they really prioritize, whether that's higher pay, flexible working hours, work from home options, or better benefits. Other things you can do, make applications easy and accessible. Don't make it people fill out these long online applications and make it really easy to do it on mobile. The talent pool you're vying for has plenty of options so they can and will move to other companies if you make it too hard for them to apply. Sell your organization. On your career site and on social media, make it known how great it is to work for your organization. Sell all the perks and showcase your culture. Uh, and you really need to find ways to stand out here because your target audience is looking at tens or hundreds of jobs across many different industries. You've really got to stand out and differentiate. Third, improve your hiring process so you can position your team to attract, hire, and onboard top talent fast and outpace competitors in different industries. Speed to response, uh, really critical to landing uh, these hires. And so your response rate matters, your hiring process matters. And lastly, diversify your uh, applicant sources. You, you can't just post on a job board and call it a day, hoping people show up wanting to work for you. You have to have a presence on a variety of sources you have to track which of these sources perform best, and you have to optimize your strategy accordingly. And this is table stakes today. You even have a shot at filling open roles in this new applicant economy. And of course, you need a technology partner to help you navigate all of this. Reach out to us at Hireology if you're looking for support. On behalf of the team at Hireology, this is Adam Robinson, uh, CEO here at Hireology, saying good luck out there, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks.